Bill Hieronymus was a visionary and a leader. He's the father of modern offshore wind technology. So we could think of no one better to name this award after, because this award embodies vision, tenacity, leadership. You need a fierceness in order to bring about change in the world, and we could think of no one better than Bill Hieronymus. My father grew up in Lancaster, Wisconsin, on a dairy farm. It was very tough times. It was the Depression that they didn't grow food. There were times, you know, that that's all they had to eat. There was a teacher who recognized how brilliant he really was. Graduating from high school when he was age 16, they suggested that he take the tests for the Naval Academy. He scored very, very well and got a senatorial appointment to the Naval Academy. Because of the timing with the war starting, Dad was asked to stay back for the first six months to teach engineering and then joined a destroyer in the South Pacific. After the war came back, went to MIT, got his master's in engineering. He met a lot of people and just really broadened his view. We had an energy crisis where he started thinking about energy and pollution-free energy. And he had always been interested from a science standpoint in windmill construction that was going to float offshore where the winds never abate. I think Bill's impact on the offshore wind industry hasn't been realized until many, many years later. He had a vision that we really needed to get off of fossil fuels. And he saw wind energy as being the thing that could realize that. Bill Hieronymus was a determined, strong-willed person with a vision. Looking at a very big picture, literally global thinking. He even talked about global climate change in the 70s before anybody really was pushing it the way they are now. Bill didn't make friends in high places. He poked his finger in the faces of people in high places. Bill Hornemus was not shy about expressing his opinion and uh, would tell anybody w what he thought. He liked to be enabled by people that said, yes, you can. He was able to combine the vision with the practicality that resulted in where we are today. He laid out the future, he said, you will see, there'll be large diameter wind turbines, there'll be wind turbines in wind farms, there'll be floating wind turbines. And here we are, and sure enough, almost all of what he described has happened. His legacy is twofold. One, I think he changed the global paradigm of how we're looking at energy, and two, inspiring a group of engineering students who really then went out and did so much to promote wind power. There was uh, quite a few students who worked with him and uh, he inspired and we all called him Captain. He did infuse them at all ages who have then since infused their students with the same fiery desire. I think Bill would say to people today that your job is to save the world. And yes, there will be challenges, but you can do it. Future Hieronymus Award winners will embody tenacity, hard work, collaboration, They'll be mentors to the next generation, and they'll probably be a little impatient, just like Bill Hieronymus was.